What's up guys, Galactic Force Media here. It's been a while, but we're back. Today we have a review. We're gonna do the x Coaster Mandalorian pre-best car. Let's see what it's all about. Let's get into it. All right, so let's see what's in this x Coaster box here. Everything's in here, right? So let me tell you about a little bit about x Coaster. x Coaster is a overseas cosplay you know, costume site that has a wide selection of different costumes that you can use for your cosplay, if you're going to the Comic-Con, if you're doing for Halloween, and their prices fluctuate, you know, up and down. When I happened to pick up this Mandalorian pre-Beskar, I think I paid $234, and that included shipping. They're having a big sale. Normally, I 3D print my own cosplay stuff or my own costume stuff, but I just had to take advantage of this deal. This box was loaded with a bunch of stuff. There was head to toe, everything I think except the helmet and the shoes was in the uh, x Coaster package. This is the top of the flight suit. Again, this is, it looks brand new. Um, it's a, I don't know what it's made out of. It doesn't say, again, we have X costume or x Coaster, and this would go on through the back and it zips up but very nice i mean it's thin you're gonna if it is cold where you are for halloween you're gonna have to wear something underneath but then you know you take the flak vest and it goes on to here and it velcros behind so that's part of the flight suit moving on we have the lower area protection which if you look it would go down here uh again i mean brand, brand new i mean it definitely needs some type of weathering you can't i can't go out with it being this clean so to speak so we will be doing some type of airbrush on all of this so this is the outer part of the flight suit or the flak vest And as, as I said, these are already put on there because we are going to be wearing this for Halloween. So I wanted to get a jump on things. So I want to let you guys know right off the bat, this is not 501st approved. Uh, this is not for somebody who's looking to go in troop. This is for somebody that maybe wants to go to the local Comic Con. Or in the case of me and my family, we like to dress up every Halloween. So what we like to do is make it as authentic as possible without going over the top. So, I mean, I don't really have much time anymore. I mean, you've seen past videos with the short trooper. I put almost six to eight months into that short trooper um, armor with the 3D printing and whatnot. I just don't have the time anymore. So this, you know, seemed like a really good alternative. Um, but, you know, back to the approval of the file first, you will have to absolutely work on this. There is no way that you're going to be able to just put this on and go, hey, 501st, take me. I'm in, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the club. So... You know, again, you're going to have to work on, I mean, look how clean this is. It's like if it just came right off the, uh, you know, right off the press here. It, it does need its own, you know, weathering, which we're going to do. Some of the um, armor, which again is casted. I believe this is casted and then has a resin on the inside. So it is strong. But again, I mean, it, it's it's... It's not really weathered the way I would like it. The armor is attached with the straps that are glued or, yeah, they're definitely glued in there. And you tie them up. Obviously, when you're wearing them, you're going to have to conceal these or cut these. But this does attach to the... Uh, this goes on to the flight suit with Velcro. As you can see, this one's not even attached. We're going to have to attach that one. But I actually don't know what this is made out of. I'll have to relook at the x Coaster website. But um, it has the blaster damage. But, I mean, the, we the weathering, it, it's, oh, it's okay. I mean, I like that it has the, the, the damage here. But I would completely redo this and... Make it look used and whatnot. But again, what we know, we're not going for 501st here. We're going for just, you know, family Halloween weekend. So we'll do a little bit of work on this. This could have been done a little bit better here. But again, for the money, 
look what you're getting so far. I mean, this this would normally take right here. This is a 12 or 13 hour print for each of the of the pauldrons. This right here would probably be a 15 or 16 hour 3D print. So I'm saving time and I'm you know saving the headache of my print failing and whatnot. So you know this is good enough for now, and we'll you know we'll make it look a lot better than 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 what it is. And I mean, if you just wanted to see if we bring this back in, yeah, this would all you know go on here and whatnot. So. This is the top part. I mean, again, this is pretty good for the money. I think this was at first was almost six hundred dollars. I'm gonna have to look back at the website and I'll correct it on the video. But you know, on sale took advantage. So there is your top part. This is a this is the cape or the fleece blanket, as I would call it. It looks like the Mando went to the shop and just bought a brand new fleece blanket and wrapped it up around him. Um, the only good thing about this is. If I could find it, it does already have the bunched up part around the neck. So, you know, you put this over your head and then this comes over like this. So it's already sewn, which is very nice. But we would have to probably cut the bottom here. I mean, it looks, we're dragging on the floor a little bit. But I mean, this is, this is probably one of the weaker points of this. Excoser Mandalorian pre Beskar uh, cosplay here. This is just again, it needs to be airbrushed and weathered. Uh, but pretty cool that I don't have to make a cape. I'll just fix the cape that they gave us. One of my favorite pieces of this armor setup are the gauntlets. And what I like about them is, I mean, they are molded. They have nice detail, still gonna have to weather them. The one issue I ran into with my prior build of the Shore Trooper was the, was getting the right fit for my wrists or my, my forearms with, with the gauntlets. And I did a bunch of test ring shots with, uh, you know, printing a one inch ring or a half an inch ring and then seeing if it would fit on my arms and whatnot. So what I like about these is all I would have to do, I don't know if I'm putting it on the right arm right now, all, all I would have to do is open this up and then it has a string. And you pull this string and you tighten it and then it closes up. I think that's just a much better system to have than trying to figure out, you know, am I gonna print the whole thing? Is it gonna be too big or is it gonna be too small? I am gonna put foam on the inside of here because they're a little loose on my small wrists. They're a little loose, but we're gonna put some foam in there and get a nice tight fit for these so they don't slide up and down. Or, or I had a twisting problem with the Shore Trooper gauntlets. They would twist around when you were walking around or just moving around. So there's those. And this is definitely, I, I think these are the, uh, this is definitely one of the, you know, for, for what you're paying, for this cosplay, it's it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, molded, detailed. Of course, we're gonna do a little weathering ourselves. So, these are the gauntlets. So, <laughs> now this is what I this is probably my least favorite. These are the uh, these are the gloves that came with the uh, the package, and I will not be. <laughs> well, first off, they don't, they don't fit. I will not be wearing these. So I'm going to show you what I did because, you know, these go underneath the, the motorcycle style gloves. Yeah, I mean, these, I can't even, these, it's no good. Um, it's not even the right yellow. So put those there. What I ended up doing with these is I went to Home Depot or Lowe's and for $16, I got the yellow gardening gloves and we'll just, we just gotta fix a couple of pieces with the fringing here but these are the motorcycle gloves with the hand guards again look how look how brand new those hand guards look they're going to need to be weathered the gloves are going to need to be weathered as well they are just uh it's just it doesn't have that star wars feel but these these are fantastic they're a nice fit Again, 
for what it is, a good buy. But it, there is a little, I don't know if you can see it, there's some paint issues. Like it looks like the paint bled or they didn't paint enough on there. But yeah, these, you know, 16 bucks for the gloves. So this is the bottom part of the flight suit. I think I did a size medium overall for everything. And again, we have the casted or, uh, or whatnot in thigh armor. Detailed has the, the blaster shots or the, uh, you know, the nicks and the scratches. Again, probably going to work on these. I mean, it just, I mean, it, they did a good job. I just, you know, and the actual casting is fantastic and it's very, you know, true to what you see on screen, in my opinion. Again, we're not going for the 501st. We're not going for 100% screen accuracy, but uh, very good for what they did here. Again, resin lined on the back. And you, same thing, you just attach them with the belt, the uh, straps through the, through the little, you know, belt loop. Can't complain about that. We'll be weathering. Got these out of here. As we continue, we have these where this is on the side uh, below the holster. It's, this goes on the left and right side of your hips. And again, have to be weathered. So this is a soft part, but it's hidden. It's, it's pretty hidden, but we're gonna give it a nice, nice dirty look as well. And that goes onto the belt. Although I probably put it together incorrectly, I just have to double check. We have the belt with the holster. I'm actually 3D printing the blaster, but that'll be done soon. But this is the belt. It's got the metal clasp. Didn't really come with instructions how to put it together, but I, I uh, hope I figured this out. We'll have to look again, but it, it goes up and over the whole entire suit. It's not leather. It's made of this, um, I don't know, it kind of feels slippery pleather. <laughs> Maybe it's pleather. But it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty well, pretty good quality. I've seen this belt on Amazon for 80 bucks just on its own it's, uh, through the same company. And we have these, these are resin printed or casted. And they're, it came with a ton of these. And this goes, boom, right in there. And we have them for up here as well. So we'll put all those in. Came with a bunch of these for all over the costume. Again, we'll probably hit this with a quick airbrush. Oh yeah, there's a bunch more. There's, but you can hear that. That's solid. Get rid of those. So this comes in a one piece, solid casted, and then this slides onto the belt, which just made me realize I have to put it on the belt. Um, this is supposed to go in here, but I already noticed that it will, moving around, that's gonna come out. So we are going to glue that in there or Velcro that in there. Very nice piece, goes into its own little pleather pouch. We have another pouch, which has to be attached. Actually don't, and that's going to go like that, I believe, maybe. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna have to put a book on that because that's gonna stay like that. Again, it's made of that pleather, goes onto the belt. Strap right on the back. Nice piece. I received this, which is casted, and then I got this, which I have a feeling they put this in by accident because this doesn't fit anywhere. Or unless they're just giving me the option of whether or not I want to uh, wear a soft piece or not. But this this is this. and But this, this is actually casted on the back with the Velcro, not Velcro, I'm sorry, the, the strap with the belt buckle. That goes right there. 
So we're not gonna even use that. This is the one we're gonna do, but I think I'm gonna have to secure it better because when I put it on initially, it was sliding down. So we're gonna have to do some type of surgery on there to make that stick, but solid piece casted. I actually like the way they did the weathering on this one the most. This one is all rigid up here on the top, right there on the sides. So there's your shin or below your shin. What they sent here are the soft good pleather, fake leather uh, shin guards. And they go on with the bands on the back, which actually fit really well. Again, with my short trooper armor, I 3D printed all of the, the shin guards. And not only did it take almost 30 hours to print the shin guards, then I had to glue them together and sand them down. And it was a nightmare. Um, they didn't even fit properly, even though I did a proper sizing, they still had, you know, sizing issues. This will slide right on. It'll be perfect for me. More of the, these go in here. These casted pieces go right into there. We'll give it a little airbrush, you know, this and that. It's got the pouch, just like the, the show. <laughs> this is supposed to be 3D printed as well. I mean, that's a little cheesy, but again, we're doing the Halloween thing, guys, with the family this year, right? So we're going to let this one slide. We'll figure that out. So it did not come with a helmet. And the one that I saw on their website, I wasn't too impressed with. And I happened to have purchased one or two of the uh, Black Series Mandalorian helmets. So we ended up saying this is going to be perfect. It's... I guess this would be the best scar version because if you look at the other one, it had, you know, some of it has a little bit of damage on there. We're not going to damage this one up. Nobody's really going to know. But the black, you know, this is the Black Series one and it has all the stuff inside. Uh, it's kind of like the Boba Fett helmet. It's pretty similar. It fits me really well. I don't even have to put anything in there. They, they changed, they, they put this in there, which is not in the Boba Fett helmet. And this just works so much better. So we're going to be able to wear that. I do have um, an, uh, Kind of, it's like an Under Armour um, neck gaiter that we're gonna wear underneath, and this will be the helmet. It'll be it'll be perfect uh, for what we're doing. And as far as shoes go, we don't have any yet. I don't have any shoes. I know that Skechers puts out a kind of a brown shoe that will fit. You know, considering we're not going for five zero first here, so we'll use those shoes. But yeah, for you know, two hundred and $34. I mean, I caught it on a good sale. You get a great costume that you have to do some minor, you know, details to and whatnot. I mean, I, I definitely cannot complain for the amount of money I paid for, you know, not having to 3D print everything and just able to do it, put it on and go. I mean, I think it's, I think it's fantastic.
All right, so yeah. Uh, again, this is right out of the box. I mean, we literally just took things, threw everything out, and we put it on. So my assistant, Hi. you can come in here and you can give, I mean, you're the one who dressed me, so. Yeah, uh, I mean. Right out of the box, super loose for you. Yeah. So we're gonna have to tailor it. The belt isn't very like clear on what they want you to do with all these leather straps. There's extra pieces of leather all over the place. Well, there's zero, there were zero instructions on yeah. anything here. Mm. Um, so. We, we took a Black Series figure and and we tried to figure out, you know. Used him as a go-by. Well, we didn't even, and some of the stuff we, we just didn't even put on because of, like we didn't put on the depth charges or whatever those, cause we just didn't, we didn't put on the side saddles for the, uh, the blaster. We have to still modify the belt. Um, the <laughs> actual costume attaches with all these little yeah. strings and ropes. So we're gonna have to do something to tuck them away, yeah, we're gonna, or glue I, I, them down. I think we'll tape them. We have we'll just black tape them underneath. Yeah. Oh, as I said in the initial review, see how loose the um, the gauntlets are. So we're gonna have to foam those in. I don't know if you can see that, but there's so much room. So when you walk, they just, you know. So these have to all be tucked, and this has to be, you know, or taped. Because you can see all the black, uh, comfortable. I mean, it's it, I, I, it's much more comfortable than the short trooper uh, cosplay that we that we did. But out of the box, it needs work. There, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, I don't know if you could see my my shin armor. I don't have the shoes yet, but if you could see the shin armor, uh, it's kind of misshapen. I'm gonna have to somehow shape that. Um, sinking down your leg. It's, <laughs> second it, by second. It, which one? This? Both of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to, pro you know what, I think we're going to foam those as well on the inside. Yeah. We'll just foam those or with something to, to adhere to the inside. Um, the, 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 the fleece cape. See, that works for you. How tall are you, though? I am 5'11ish. Like, if someone more my height you would, or shorter you would, than you, yeah. you'd be tripping over it and it'd be dragging. The lower region protector over here is too big. I'm gonna to have to either pin it together. Um, the the flight suit actually fits, so that's pretty good. But yeah, there's just little things. I mean, for 199 bucks with minor modifications, this is gonna be an awesome costume. But this is just a review of what's in the box, right out of the box, boom, done, putting it on. And we, I mean, we still have, you know, things to put on. So as of this video, we have roughly a month, month and a half, maybe, tops to really get this going. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, what do you think, assistant? I mean, I think we should definitely make some modifications and do an update video with what modifications work and mm -hmm. how it looks once we're done. Because right now, as is out of the box, it just looks sloppy, uh -huh. as you would say, soup sandwich. Look, I look like a soup. I look like a soup sandwich Mandalorian. <laughs> so that is not the way. This is not the way, but yeah, we're gonna make it better. So look out for part two, and thanks for viewing, and uh, may the force be with you.